So we got this comment, uh, can you import multiple video clips? When I film, I tend to film multiple video files. My normal process would be to go through my phone, film and camera and delete the ones I don't like and then import them into Premiere Pro. So the way Timebolt has been designed, it's not built to handle multiple files and uh, that is by design. Uh, if you have a lot of files and you want to delete the silences and create jump cuts in those files and push them all in Timebolt at once, it tends to be very hairy so so it was not designed to handle that but there is a, wo a workaround that we can use in order to make sure that uh, we can still process uh, these files as a single file and let me show you how that's done so i have this these files over here which i've recorded one after the other they're sequential in nature which means that i recorded the first file then i've recorded the second file and then i've recorded the third file so they're, they're not overlapping in any way they're sequential one after the other one two three so i've also named them uh, similarly so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open premiere pro and i'm going to import all these files in here and create my sequence now note that i have done nothing in time world so far this is purely premiere pro i'm just going to premiere pro and laying them out as you would now i'm going to press the i and o key at the end or at the end to essentially make sure that they are contained within this in and out uh, section so why am i doing this what I need from this uh, pattern is that I want the audio of the entire sequence. So all the files combined, entire sequence, and from I to O, everything in between. I'm going to press Control M and go to the export section. And here I'm going to export an audio file, which I'm going to call, so it's going to be a waveform audio. I'm going to call it a full audio, just, just for namesake. I'm going to export it. So this audio file is going to contain the audio of all of the clips sequentially laid out in a sequence. Now, what does that do for us? So when I open that file, that full audio file in Timebolt, it essentially gives me the cuts of everything. So everything that's in the sequence is cut up now, okay? And I think you understand where I'm going with this. So once you combine these, you can essentially apply these cuts directly on the sequence with the Timebolt extension. So if you don't know about the Timebolt extension, you can go to Timebolt, go into Multifile Utilities, and go into Adobe Premiere Pro extension. And from there, you can find out how to install it. I'm not going to do that because it's already covered in a different video. But that's what you would do to install it. And then when you're in Timebolt, I'm going to open the extension. Okay, just keep it there. Go back to Timebolt. And now I'm going to save these cuts. So I want to save these cuts. And the way you do that in Timebolt is by using something called the Save Timeline Cuts. Or you can also do it by exporting to JSON. We already did that with the Save Timeline Cuts. Now I'm going to go to this file. Where is it? Wherever it is. I'm going to copy this path so that I know where it is. I'm going to go back to the extension. But first, I'm going to select all of these clips. So you have to select all of them if you want to apply the JSON file to these cuts. So I'm going to apply it. I'm going to go to where that file was. Okay, it's right here. It's this one. It's called full audio dot wave, the same name as your audio file and dot JSON. I'm going to click on OK and see the magic. I'm just going to wait and wait until this finishes. Now, as you can see, there is one clip, which is like an overhang, which is going outside our bounds. So I'm just going to delete it because we don't need that. But if you see the rest, it's properly cut up according to all the cuts that we gave. Now, in order to make them, you know, more believable, I'm going to copy them and uh, I will keep this over here and then drop it down, drop it down. And then I'm going to go and do the same thing over here. Copy this over here. I'm going to cop, uh, select this whole thing, drop it down okay i'm not sure if i'm doing this right give me a sec okay so also this is not really required so i'm gonna just delete it oh, i need to stop okay all okay so that works now let me check if the last so to prove that it actually worked i'm gonna come over here and play this part i think i've proved my point so, so my last you know what i said was i proved my point so if i go back here play this go oh, to that's the end a lot of i think i've proved my point it works so that's how you do this so what you do is you essentially lay out all of the clips directly onto uh the sequence in premiere pro export an audio of the whole thing and just drop that in a time bolt get your cuts come back into premiere pro and you're done now there might be um, a slight variation to this where maybe you you want to see the preview of what you're cutting out in Timebolt. In that case, what you would do is, and what I would do is, I would go into Premiere Pro, and instead of exporting a WAV file, I'll basically export a very uh, low quality, uh, maybe like a 420, 480p or 360p file, a long one, and then just preview that in Timebolt to see which cuts I want and which cuts I don't want. 
But for the most part, the idea is that you treat this like a multicam sequence, but instead of the clips being overlapped, these clips are essentially, um, you know, starting and ending at different times. So once again, if I was to do this again, what I would do is I would have them laid out one after the other, essentially laid out one after the other, and then just combine them, combine the audio, export it, over here. export it and then just apply the cuts by selecting all of it clicking apply uh, getting the json clicking apply and that's it and they're done so that's how you do it if you have a lot of files you can do this with any number of files you have 20 files do it with 20 you have 10 do it with 10 and it doesn't get hairy that's my main you know so hopefully this has provided some sort of value and it comes to multiple files thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one